Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're fighting against the Hive. Uh, as always, 59 enemies do not necessarily instill a warm and fuzzy feeling. That tells me we're going to be up for quite a problem. But all we need to do is neutralize that field commander because if we can kill him, at least the dark event is countered. We might lose the area by evacuating, but our main objective needs to be counter the dark event, even if it is a Fyric victory. We got the loss on our side, so we might be able to work with that. And in order to um, play that safe, uh, let's actually see how we could work around that. So a couple of ideas here. Number one, I think we're taking a ultrasonic lure not a bad idea. Mm, should we take another one? Not sure. I think we're going in with two ghost grenades, one beacon, two ultrasonic lures, and uh, two battle scanners. Shall we go another ultrasonic lure and just skip the battle scanner? I think I'm putting my eggs into the lost basket. So double lure. You haven't seen that anywhere yet. Let's see if that works out. All right, Saiken. Let's go. Let's get it cracking. This is the B team. I really want to make that work. As always, we have not put any equipment on us that we couldn't lose. So there's that as well all right and uh, we landed so let's take a good look we need to locate the field commander and at the same time uh, we need to make sure that we keep our sweet sweet concealment somehow the music is gone but the sound still works Hmm, good question. Carefully continuing to move up with Sane. We're moving forward. Uh, so does Doom. Want to keep out of <coughs> the initial uh, the initial confrontation zone. Maybe putting a sniper over here. That'll give us options for the ultrasonic lure. But also better sniping angles. That's actually not a bad position. Alright, sonar. Moves over there. And finally, snake pliskin. Hmm. We go over here or should I push forward I think we're pushing forward that way we do have everybody together for a ghost grenade okay it's strange it's just the sounds oh the general over here okay Alrighty, Andromedon, Viper, and a couple of really nasty Advents. On the other hand, we do have uh, the Lost. Taking a couple of shots here. Oh yeah, please explode and draw the lost uh, closer. That will be helpful.
Okay, so we know uh, the general is underneath the bridge on the other side. Which begs the question, can we ambush him? And essentially just go there and immediately kill him. Oh, wow, six points of damage. That's a lot. Uh, listen, I mean... Is it worth using a ghost grenade and then essentially dropping down here and fully unloading on... Hmm, that's actually not a bad idea, thinking about it. So we can place the ghost grenade here, which means even if we were to get detected now, we could kind of re-stealth. Yeah, let's just give that a try. Good, we're moving over here. Can we hit the purifier? Because the purifiers are typically the ones uh, that are causing the most issues. Yeah, we're still going to move away, but I wanted to make sure that the purifier is nicely being taken care of. Because uh, they can ignite the loss and the loss are fundamentally uh, the loss fundamentally have a problem with being ignited good so speaking about our grenade I think I had something that made everybody invisible. Yeah, I think that'll that'll hit even our ranger, VDM. Okay, good. Loud uh, mm, a loud explosion triggers the swarm. There we go. All we need to do is... Get to the objective. Sane moves over. Do moves over without losing concealment. I think we've already braced, so that's good. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving over here. And moving over there. Moving. Okay. Unfortunately, the ultrasonic lure will break concealment for us. Trooper. Yeah, lots of troopers and Advent theoretically inside. Uh, we just Roger. are going to wait. We're picking up an inbound Advent transport. The aliens are going to try and extract the general from the AO. Don't let him get on board that ship. No, we're trying to do exactly that. Prevent the, uh, him from moving any further. Awesome. 
He moves over here. Eh, not the best uh, selection for us. And there you see the problem with the purifiers. They will ignite some of the loss, the loss will then ignite further loss and all of a sudden you do have a chain reaction. Okay, kill the ones that are already burning, thank you. Wow, that was massive damage. Stun baton for 10. I'm hoping they will use a few more grenades. All right, Andromedon. Oh yeah, the Losts are definitely taking the short end of the stick here. Finally the XCOM music uh, begins to chime in again. No, 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 don't, don't do that. Ah, now they have killed all of the lost, not good. Okay, we definitely need to spawn more lost. Yeah, the only way out of this is if there are enough lost that keep Advent busy. Currently that's not really the case. Understood. Moving out. Sonar moves up. And that will be a big fat explosion followed by a big fat explosion. Because the car will explode as well. And that will trigger a lost swarm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That is exactly what I was looking for. Oh, more chrysalids. Well, fantastic. Let me first and foremost see if we can hit the general yes we can and it's not even a bad shot i think it's actually a quite decent one Fire. 
Let's use a VAT because I would want uh, the ultrasonic lure to come through. Don't want to need to deal with the losts. Good. Advent General, come on. Uh, I was hoping for a bit more damage. I mean, we could uh, throw in another grenade, I suppose. We haven't triggered the chrysalids yet, and I think it's a better idea to leave them untriggered. Closing on target position now. So Pliskin would move over here. Not uh, many guys can see him there. But essentially, this is what we would do. Nice little lure. Might even put more losses onto the field. No, nope, not yet, but almost. In general, would go down to five. I think that's not a bad idea. Cool, we aren't even detected. And once per turn, killing an enemy, would that be a kill? Might trigger that stupid chrysalid pack. Yeah, that would. It's risky. We move all the way up to here. To here. And then just take a shot and try to kill him that way. But we would be in the open regardless. Um, let me check something else. Still got grenades. So, really, what we're going to do is I've been playing this ultra safe doesn't matter that we're uh, having a couple of cooldowns used. That would hit a lot of loss, unfortunately. I think we're just going to do the, uh, we're going to say preserve more losts. But this here will kill the general. 
and maybe even spawn more losts. Good, here's the deal. The way that we're going to go about it is we're going to stand up there and we're going to go all the way back to here and let these guys duke it out. Let's stand here for now. Okay, Lost versus Advent. And boy, there are a lot of Advents here. What? You gotta hate to see it, right? Uh, mm, just a uh, straight up crit into killing. Not what I was expecting. Sam did very well until he got unfortunately one shot. Good. Pliskind is more or less out of combat for now. It will be an interesting, uh, an interesting observation to see whether or not are more losses coming. No, not yet. It always says uh, losses are drawing closer, but normally it just takes a few moments. Uh, this time it seems to take a little bit longer. Good. Still the losses aren't uh, coming. It only says loss are ca uh, a swarm is coming closer. Good. We can't really see what's going on, but I hope the loss can get some decent retaliation. Well, they deal some po uh, some damage, but not a lot. Heading to that location. So we're triggering the chrysalids.
I think a little explosion down there wouldn't be too bad. Followed up by a double explosion over here, shredding, explosion of the car, more or less. Just want to keep them coming at this point. Chameleon needs to go somewhere else. I like that. And uh, let's just make sure that you guys definitely know the enemies are down there and that you hit every single one of them. Good. We're being revealed, but that's okay. I wonder what are our chances to get the Mac. Good enough for me. Any form of extra soldier would be helpful. Alright, the answer is not today. Moving over here. Uh, as much as I like that, I would rather like to explode the purifier. Chrysalid Ripper needs to die. And, uh, getting a nice little breakthrough. More loss, by the way, are coming. That's good. Viper would be a good kill. No. Mech would be a really good hit. I think we're just going for the Viper. Tongue grab sucks. And so does dodging. Okay, we need to send our ground up here. By the way, this assault was the one responsible for killing uh, our sniper. Further explosion. Uh, triggers another swarm. Great. Good. I'm hopeful that the loss will use that opportunity to completely cleanse the area. In minimum, they will be a fantastic decoy for uh, for us. As long as we are staying up here and as long as we can kill the purifiers relatively fast, the loss should be enough to get Advent, um, to keep Advent busy for now. Oh, have I just known, uh, witnessed a chrysalid spawn? Wait, what? Chrysalid cocoon on loss? Ooh, that's bad. That is bad news. We need to kill the chrysalids first. Can't allow 
them to replicate with a loss. Problem is Edwin does have a lot of firepower. And as long as the firepower continues, we will have a problem. Uh, we will we would need to spawn a lot of losses. What? Why are you even shooting at us? There are plenty of losses available. Okay, maybe many of them are burning, but still. Good, can the Lost please fight back for once? I gave them overwhelming numbers by spawning like dozens. Oh wow, another cocoon were effed. Oh wow, gatekeeper back there? No way. Nope. The losses are completely useless. Well, that was a good one, but... The good hits are far and few between. These guys here are still dealing with that stupid uh, purifier. Yeah, unless something major happens, this is going to be... Maybe that could swing it. I don't know. I'm not convinced that we can go through the, the masses of Advent here. And I don't know if we can duke it out. Really, I don't. I mean, let's look at it realistically. We could kill him and the Viper, maybe ignore the Andromedon for now, kill two Chrysalids. There are two new Chrysalids spawning. We have a lot around 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Let's say we have 30 losses at this point and about 10 of them are burning. So discount the burning ones, uh, they will die. The other 20 lost, 15 of them might uh, die just due to Advent uh, destroying them. That'll bring us down to a very small number of lost. A few more grenades might be thrown and eventually the, the loss might uh, hold up for one more round after this. Just being optimistic here at, at this point. So, if that's the case, then really what are we, uh, what are our chances to go through that? We do have an entire pack of chrysalids uh, with two spawning cocoons. A uh, chameleon that is somewhere uh, over here, and the chameleon, as long as it exists, will uh, trigger additional chrysalid um, spawns every single round. We do have a pretty sizable pack, heavy mech, and around four or five advent over here. And we have an almost destroyed pack over here, but it would still take a turn um, or two 
to just go through that. But we know there is another pack here, so I think all all else equal. This really doesn't look very good. I do have a smoke. Uh, I do have a ghost grenade. I do have uh, a mimic beacon. And both can be used in order to buy some time, reset, and so on and so forth. But I wonder if it really will help us. I, I'm not sure if we can survive that onslaught. And we have countered the dark event, which was the main thing. Yes, we're going to lose a lot of uh, momentum here. Sucks, I get it. But at the same time... We got what we came here for. There now. Getting some quick experience. Maybe getting a promotion out of this. Trying to get some kills on the guys. Okay. Low chance shot, missed, doesn't matter. Lost some equipment, countered uh, the undying loyalty, lost some intel. Not, not good, but a partial victory and look at that, we were still out 60 enemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't think that that's, uh, that this would have happened. Just too much uh, interference from left and right. If it wouldn't have been for the um, for the general, we could have potentially like done a front to back uh, fight, a hard position, use all of our. Um, uh, ultrasonic lures uh, to to uh, take them away, but that would likely have resulted in the general fleeing. And sometimes um, soldiers need to give their lives in order for the greater good. Synap certainly was one of those soldiers. Rest in peace, uh, Sam. That was a good um, effort. Counter the dark event, undying loyalty. Uh, that is the Firic uh, mm, uh, victory mechanic in XCOM. If you basically hack the main target, uh, kill the main guy, or whatever else you try, uh, you are forced to do in a limited amount of time. If you do that, and you then uh, can't clear the entire map, you are basically get, uh, being awarded with a Firic uh, victory. So at least the dark event is countered. In terms of armory, let's take a look here. Richter is okay. Sane is tired. The aliens have always been monsters. From the very beginning, it was one failed science experiment. He had Snake Plisket. He was uh, Sam's best friend. Sucks for him. Oh, it was our starting region, so we didn't lose all of it. But we lost our radio tower here, so... Mm. Nah. Uh. 
sucks. I'm a little bit unhappy about that, but what can you do? Not much, really. Let's get intel, because we need more intel in order to cover for the losses in territory that we're going to suffer. Hmm, okay, so... Slowly but surely, people are going to come back. I'm wondering... I mean, the intel wasn't as much as I was hoping for, so might as well just scan the headquarters here. The next big thing is uh, doing the Golden Path missions, and we will require our Prime team in order to do that. We can see a couple of recoveries, which is good. Still, Taurus here uh, has fear of chrysalids. That's not a good fear to have. And Zukuger would need to get a promotion. So we potentially put him onto a, uh, onto a mission to get a promotion and then we're going in with a full colonel team. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now while I recognize that you've been defeated. Very good. Bam bam. Defeated. And defeated. That's a good uh, feeling. Not a problem. Might be a problem. And I have no idea what the hidden status is going to look like. I think that will help us. Less scanning. And I think we're okay. Consider it done, Commander. Good. Almost uh, there. A few more hours and then Sydney can uh, get uh, into the infirmary as well. Um, now yeah, that negative trade, she will get priority in the infirmary. Colonel Nat Perry, a Reaper, joins us. Natty! Well, that is good. There is, by the way, the option to get another Reaper. Good, cool. what do we have? Uh, additional comm construction. Upgraded for our resistance comms by 50%. Okay, oh, that's not bad. Resistance order. Oh, double agent. That is cool. That is ultra cool. Remember that. That's an important one. Lightly wounded can be sent into combat. Um, that's okay. Promotion here, which would be helpful. Dodge 9. Ooh. Ooh, and next uh, bond level, that's something for Hogbite afterwards. A plus four isn't bad either, it's actually quite good. And A plus four plus combat intelligence in six days. Might even be better uh, for us. It could be something for our sniper. Um, yeah. Okay, but what we wanted to do is the promotion. Only uh, our fastest promotion here would be Zukuger, requiring a scientist, and Dilly G, who is now here. That's good. Seven days. In the meantime, one more hour and then Sydney is back. Good. So we got Natty here. Good old Natty. Uh, with remote start. We like that. With shrapnel. We like that as well with silent killer which is good with sting which is great 
Highlander, which is good. And Banish, which is also good. Good, we do have 40 points left. Which in return, instead of uh, these skills, uh, we can use for a couple of other good abilities. Shredding, for instance, is a fantastic one. Uh, Blood Trail is another good one. Good, and that leaves us with one more. Which could be Soul Harvest or Needle. I think we're going with Needle because uh, that uh, like fully ignores Armor. And will make him an even better killer. Really good overall. Uh, nice little standard build here. A Vector Rifle. Um... Advanced Expanded Magazine for the Banish, you know how it's done. And Advanced Agility isn't bad either. Got the Claymore and uh, gets a nice little Hazmaz Vest. Uh, not a lot of health, but he's not. Uh, he has not been hired to have a lot of health. He has been hired in order to uh, lay waste on the enemies. Now, one more hour. And our colonel is back, which will now put her into the negative trait removal. And once that is done, we're ready for the next mission, for the next big mission. Central. Objective added. Good. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Okay, so... We have a couple of uh, cool options here. Warlock weapon, assassin weapon, hunter weapon, all of which are not available to us. We can research them uh, for potential breakthroughs, but we, we wouldn't get anything out of it. Um, I could technically research the rest as well. Yet again, we wouldn't uh, get anything out of it. So let's continue with the Spectre Autopsy for now. And my intuition tells me soon there is going to be a new mission. Shredder gun. That's a good one. That is a very good one. We got another experimental weapon up and coming soon. Okay, so far we're actually doing very well. Not much is happening. That's good. Improved Vector Rifles. Let's go for them. Plus one damage on Vector Rifles is good. Not excellence, but it's good. I like it. Um, and I think we had a nice upgrade. Arc Blaster, that is not a technically a uh, weapon, it's just uh, stunning and it will allow us to stun enemies at greater distance. Yay! Not bad, I like it. Works well for us. One of the few upgrades that are okay with this run. Good, now we had a few other things that I wanted to do. Double Agent definitely is a good one for 10 days, but there was even a better one. How many days until this year? Four days, four days, okay. Four days. Resistance Ring, Covert Action. Um, that's an eight days mission. So one that we need to do afterwards. Double agent is good. Will there be enough time? Expand the queue. 13 days? Yes. So we could go into double agent. Because that's actually something that I would want to do. And then afterwards, uh, Hogbite and uh, Namri would get not only the next soldier bond, but we would also see more dodge on Hogbite. Okay, resistance order. Let's get this going. 
I need a level two or above uh, bond team. And there's even one mobility in there, which is good. I think uh, Anders and uh, Frodo are the right guys for the job. They reduce it to nine days. So Jawounding, I would actually like to keep, uh, not like to keep that, but I don't want to pay 25 Intel to prevent that. And nine days is good. It's really good. All right, four more days and we're ready to rumble. Uh, but there is a dark VIP mission coming up uh, beforehand. 28 um, enemies. Uh, there is good, good intel in it. So we could try to steal the uh, dark VIP. And just get out of there. I suppose not the worst idea. Yeah, so that would be 260 supplies and uh, 80 intel. 80 intel is enough to kind of reclaim a territory that we're that we've lost. We currently have 100 intel, which is enough for one territory, or to make contact down here. Uh, so that's not bad. I think this here will be our next mission um, afterwards. But that'll need to take a few more days. We are almost done three more days with a negative trade recovery. That's it from my end. Um, not the outcome that you might have expected in the last mission. It's kind of a loss, but still a win. Um, at least in my book, uh, we uh, countered the dark event. Next time we're going to see a dark uh, VIP recovery and uh, in the meantime recover some of the honor that uh, the channel has uh, lost over this uh, pretty particular mission by clicking the like button and uh, see you in two days. Bye bye.